Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini the Source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And guess what? We are back with another Tower of God music producer react series reaction. I'm very excited. I can't wait to get back into it. Basically, what I do is I show you guys just a little bit of my reaction to the episode, and then at the end of the reaction, I'm going to pick one of my favorite scenes from that batch of episodes, and then I'm going to break down the scene from a music perspective on why I like it so much. So if you're uh, interested in watching that, that'll be after the reaction portion of this video. And before we hop into it, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week if you like the content and if you're looking for exclusive music production content or if you're looking for exclusive anime content or early access to any of my videos then you can head on over to the patreon page the link is in the description below over there uh, where you could get um, access to all of my content early as well as cool music production content as well and of course I also drop be uh, beats every week so that is something to look forward to and I also react to One Piece and Hunter Hunter so without further ado guys this is going to be episode 5 of Tower of God and then tune in to the actual music production portion <laughs> yeah Right away, the music starts really with that same song from before. I like it. Fair enough. Wow, look at that. All the crowns. That was so smart. So smart. Wow, so the bag has powers. Interesting. Wow. That's clutch. Yeah, Kuhn is that dude right now. Kuhn is definitely that dude. Yo. I can't get over the music, y'all. This is great. Whoa. Whoa. What a move. Wow. Rocked them all. <laughs> Rocked them all. Wow. She's going to be in the next round, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So this should be real interesting. Oh, she's putting on the lipstick or the lip balm or whatever that is. <laughs> There's a sense of mystery with this. Very curious to know who these people are. Whoa. The music again. Whoa. What an interesting, uh, whatever that was. Yeah, I agree with that. Yo, that's so true. Here we go. Next round. Who's going to be in this round? Obviously they are, but. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Fair enough. Wow. You see how... <laughs> Every anime has a character like that. <laughs> wow. Kuhn is really just laying on Bam's lap like it's nothing. <laughs> wow. What interesting sounds. From a music and audio perspective, this is definitely one of the most interesting animes I've watched. So much going on sonically. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah. Just like he said. <laughs> wow. Did not see that coming. Wow. Kuhn is that dude. Kuhn is definitely that dude. Wow. Yeah, we know Bam's weapon right here. I like this vibe, too, of the music once again. Of course, I'm going to think about the music here. And I love how Kuhn wants to climb the tower. That's cool. <laughs> What's Rack's obsession with hunting? <laughs> wow, just like that. But now the real test begins. We know Rachel's there. At least it looked like Rachel. The intensity is real. Oh. That character looks crazy. <laughs> that character looks absolutely crazy. Wow. Who is this person? Oh, come on, Rack. Oh, right for it. Wow. Bam. Oh, these people are definitely the real deal. Ooh, they're surrounded. Let's see how this is going to turn out. 
Yeah, rat, come on. Since he loves to hunt so much. What? So why are they here then? Oh. That cello, though. Or at least it sounds like a cello. They're really protecting Bam? I'm confused now. Why? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Rack is just that aggressive character. That's a great question. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Whoever this girl is, she's a beast. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was sick. Honestly, this, this character here is a real deal, too. I want to know who that is. If it's someone we've seen before or just somebody new. Damn, I feel for Bam. Oh, <laughs> broke her heel. <laughs> broke her heel. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wow. Oh, she's coming for blood. I guess that is Rachel. Oh, they're going to lose. They're going to lose now. Oh, right on the head. Oh, oh, this is intense. Oh, man. Oh, don't tell me it's about to end. Okay. Oh, what is going on? Whoa, what is this? He has Shinsu? Oh, <laughs> yo, oh, what, what was that? That was sick. Wow, this definitely changed everything. I forgot about that lady. Damn, Bam got messed up, but then he unleashed his crazy power. And yeah, they were from episode one, I remember. Yeah, Kuhn's about to realize something. Bam's power. Um, oh, whatever that was, that was pretty cool, yo. That was really cool. <laughs> Instant coffee. Yo, I like this guy's voice. But what was the point of the whole climbing the tower thing then? Oh, Bam's power. Oh, maybe it's not powerful enough? I love this little guitar thing in the background, man. This is a... Wow. I am loving the music in this. This is... This is so unique. Yeah. Irregulars, that's right. We're gonna learn definitely more about these Irregulars, for sure. I mean, we only know a little bit about them right now. He did become Shinsu, I guess. So now they're gonna keep an eye on Bam, clearly. Dude, if you're going to try to wake him up, just <laughs> shake him up. <laughs> oh. oh. It's about to end. I know. Ah. <laughs> oh, man, y'all. Woo. Wow. That was a cool episode. That was definitely a cool episode. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was episode five. That was my reaction to Tower of God. And uh, wow. What an episode, man. I really enjoyed that. That was really interesting. Um, what I found most interesting was Bam's Shinsu power. Clearly, he has an incredible power. My assumption is it's definitely related to the weapon that he has. And we saw a lot of great action going on. I thought that was really cool, man. Just the way that that round went, seeing how everybody was kind of fighting each other, Kuhn doing his thing him you know having those part other uh participants in the bag and then kind of bring them with him I, that was pretty sneaky so that was pretty interesting um but just this whole thing and how it went down so bam clearly has a very secretive and very powerful kind of power that's obviously shinsu and clearly there's a connection that's going on with him and Rachel because what was weird to me was you know the pr previous episode they were saying that oh they're gonna lose they're gonna lose right but then they get to the bat like they get to the field and then all of a sudden they're trying to protect Bam 
and they didn't really do anything to him. I thought that was really interesting. So, oh, I keep hitting the remote there. But um, I just want to know, like, what's the motive of everything that's going on here, right? And specifically, like, what's what's the real connection between Rachel and Bam? Bam is obviously trying to find Rachel, but he did find her, technically. They're together. Well, they're not together, but they're in the same room, right? So hopefully next episode, we're going to see what is the true purpose of why Bam and Rachel and everyone is at the tower. Because clearly, this isn't just some sort of mission where Bam is going to go look for his friend. There's definitely something that's way, that's deeper, that's way going on right now. And it's pretty cool how it's kind of all developing. It's pretty awesome, man. So that was a very good episode. And right now, guys, I'm going to go into the breakdown into one of my favorite scenes from this reaction. There was a bunch to choose from, man, but the music was really interesting. So let's hop into that. All right, guys. Um, So this episode, I'm going to get into the probably the biggest highlight of this episode was Bam's kind of weird thing that he did or his weird awakening with his Shinsu. And we're going to go through that. And trust me, there are so many other points in this episode where I was like, wow, the music is amazing. And I think what I'll do is I'll save that if, the, if those kind of uh, pieces of uh, music are playing again in other episodes, I'll definitely... Um, you know, I'll definitely look at those as well. But I figured this is the highlight of the episode. So let's check this out. So this was an epic scene. But one of the things I mentioned even in the last reaction is those transitions, man. The transitions of the music is so profoundly good. Like, wow. Like this anime, it, it, it puts you in a lot of different emotions. And what's weird is that the music is so dark, mysterious, but happy all at the same time. You got a lot of different stuff going on and everything just switches back and forth so nicely. That's what I noticed. So let's uh, let's play the scene real quick so that you guys can hear what I'm talking about. So let's do it. All right. So you see the music's really intense here. Orchestration horns now see it gets really intense so here's the first transition right so obviously a lot of the, the music that you're going to hear is obviously heavily orchestrated you know you got a bunch of different i guess um string instruments strums horns it also sounds like there's maybe some sort of electronic keys that someone's playing i don't know obviously i don't know what the instrumentation is i gotta look that up but um so that beginning part, that was kind of like that battle, you know, that was going on there. And then now, Bam is trying to go protect Rachel. And notice how the intensity of the music completely changes. It's kind of the same, but it kind of gets a little bit louder and it just gets a little bit more intense. Hear that? Da -da -dum, da -da -dum. And then you hear the drums kind of just doing the da da dum, da da dum. Da, 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 and then you hear like just the violins kind of repeating that little phrase there and symbolizing that there's something intense that's about to happen. It kind of keeps going. Now, I thought this was really cool because Bam's head gets hit and when you li when you see how when Bam's head gets hit, listen to how the music all of a sudden just changes phrases again. Now it's a completely different kind of sonic thing going on, if you listen. See? It just like switches. Now it's, it's, it's still intense, but all the energy that was in the previous section completely went away, which is really interesting. And I guess that's kind of a way to symbolize like, damn, Bam gets hit. It wants you to focus on Bam getting hit. So they take all that extra noise in the music so you can focus on what just happened. But watch, it's going to pick right back up. See? He's bleeding now. And notice how all of a sudden now it's starting to pick back up once again. It's really interesting. And it gets intense. Gets intense. You really feel everything and... And you can feel the buildup, obviously. You, you have those violins once again. You've got some weird electronic instruments as well that's playing. Like, it sounds like electronic instruments. I don't know what it is, but it's obviously some sort of electronic keyboard or something. I don't know what it is specifically, so don't quote me on that. But uh, they're definitely using some weird, very, very cool sounds to really um, 
combat, you know, to really kind of support the accompaniment of what's going on. So as we continue... Oh, I didn't nail it. <laughs> it's all good. Let's see. Now we get to the climax. So there you go. You get to the climax part. And now we're getting to Bam's little thing going on with Shinsu. And this is where the whole thing blows up. Now you're hearing everything, right? And then on top of that, you got a little choir going on. You hear those little children in the background singing, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Man, you know, it's crazy because when I think about this stuff, like me being a music producer, I pay attention to the sound, but I'm also paying attention to, you know, things that I would sample. And I can tell you right now, this might be a moment where I might sample it, but it would have to be something that's not go too much going on. It would be something really cool, but that that's just kind of my mindset. But let's keep this going. So you hear the drums, you hear the children chanting. And then the dun 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 dun, like you hear that weird bass line going in and it just makes it so epic. It's dope, man. I really like it. So a lot of epic things going on. If you pay attention to how the notes are kind of being played, lots of cool stuff. It's, it's like a sense of epicness but a sense of relief all at the same time. That's kind of the feeling that I get when I listen to this. I'm going to keep it going. And then I'm noticing also too, so in this specific part, I guess the way that the, the music is going. So for those of you guys who may not know too much about music theory, basically there's a lot of kind of weird... Uh, chromatic stuff going on so chromatic is like basically when there's a note and then it's basically the note right next to it that's kind of being played so you have like a like uh i'm gonna actually go back just for a second hopefully things cooperate with me here so that part you hear that dun, dun, dun. so that's kind of like a weird chromatic thing going on i it, i think it's a chromatic i mean it sounded like it i'll have to listen to it again but we'll just keep going on Really cool stuff. Really great melody. But now what? Listen. Wow. So you see that. Or you hear that. Hopefully the volume's loud enough for you guys. But one of the things that I noticed here. And you see how the music was so epic. But then all of a sudden. It transition transitions into the entire orchestra playing like one note. And it gets back to this really intense moment. really interesting stuff so we're gonna stop it there and um i hope you guys really kind of got an idea of what you know that that was all about um i kind of have to listen back because there's so much going on but i wanted to make sure i heard things correctly but there was a lot of cool stuff man from a sonic perspective which enhances the scene you know tower of god there's a lot of transition stuff and i gotta say man after watching this so far man just the transitions of the music in these scenes is really incredible man it really adds to the cool effect of this entire anime obviously even the animation itself is, is unique on its own but i could definitely say the music is really uh unique as well so that's pretty cool i, I like how things are going you know um, and for me as a music producer, I can think of a bunch of things that I could even possibly either sample or even just be inspired to create. You know, it, it, it could be any type of beat. I can make a trap beat if I'm doing hip hop or if I wanted to do something completely different and just compose my own thing. I can take some inspiration from just this scene alone and see what I would do to put some cool kind of stuff together. So, um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say because... Uh, yeah, I could really talk all day. There's a lot of different things that we could talk about in this scene, but um, I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was really interesting. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that quick little breakdown of the music. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction and the music breakdown. I can tell you guys I'm having so much fun. I love anime. I'm also going to be doing video games as well. I don't know which game I'm going to do yet, but I definitely want to also do some cool video game breakdown. So that'll be coming as well pretty soon. So 
pretty much if you like the content definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when i drop a video every week all of the other information is in the description below with the patreon stuff i got beats also i forgot to mention if you are a content creator or if you know of a content creator or if you know of an artist or anybody who is looking for music for their own work definitely come and reach out because i do lease out my beats for you guys to use of course if you want the beats exclusively we can also work something out there so definitely go check that out also my website is www.imdesource.com where you can actually go and lease those beats as well therefore anybody content creators rappers r&b singers it really doesn't matter it's all about the music right so i'm out of here guys thank you so much for watching once again and of course don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be my name is robertini de source and until the next video i am out